everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and you guys have been asking me for this video forever and you're finally gonna get it today, which is kind of my entry and family room tour. So come on in with me and let's go inside. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that by clicking the button right here and here we go. Are you ready? Uh-huh, I'm filming. <laughs> okay, welcome to the entry. You guys know that a year ago we had a massive dishwasher flood in the kitchen, so we had to replace all the hardwood. We moved out for three months, so we've just been slowly trying to put rooms back together. I mean, it's taken a year to get to this point, so it's been slow. So this is the entry. You can see we have these giant, crazy tall ceilings. So they did some really beautiful wood paneling, um, woodwork on the walls to help you know, just not have bare walls all over. But when we went to replacing the furniture for the entry, we had before kind of some cabinets similar to this, but they, and then just like a lamp. And it just felt like it wasn't grand enough or tall enough. So I had my friend Susie from Greystone Salvage come in. Um, she's really great. I have several friends that are very talented when it comes to decorating homes. So I get their advice and their opinions, have them come help me. And she came and designed the entry spaces. So we found these little beauties at Round Top, which is a great, really fun, um, kind of like home decor antique show here in Texas. It's down by Austin. And we actually found some lookalikes on Anthropology, so I'll put links to those in the comment, or like in the description box below for you guys if you wanna find them. These lamps were from our house. They're just these really fun terracotta. They have some wicker handles. We put some baskets and some greens on and we found these giant, very tall, skinny mirrors from Hobby Lobby. So I will link everything I can. The Hobby Lobby mirrors is shop in store only. So some of the things you just have to go in store to find. On this side, we basically repeated. We kind of wanted them to like be similar, but not exactly the same. So on this side, we did the mirror, um, the little uh, sideboard again, the same lamp, but we changed out the floral or the greens. We did a Turkish bowl here, just with some moss and then some faux plants. I am terrible about watering plants, so they have to be faux in my house. And then I have this very, you can see it's for dog leashes and dog toys and shoes and all the dog things, little basket hiding. So that's basically the entry decor, like right next to the door. You can see that I have this giant door, so we wanted one on each side, but if you only had one wall next to your door, certainly just one of these would work too. Okay, in my entry next to the stairs, we always have these little stair baskets. They're shaped like stairs, which I love. And they just sit here and anytime I find things that gotta go upstairs, we deposit in the baskets and then the next time we go up, we take them with us. So lots of kids things end up there. <laughs> Ellie just taking a napper. Okay, over here we have just kind of like the entry table. Um, I had this rug from before and this table from before the flood. So nothing's really changed on those and they're several years old. I will link them if I can find them for you. Um, they decided to stack some books. Um, this is just a variety of books I have. Some I have, some I got from uh, another one of my friend house sprucing. Some of this stuff is from her design center. So this little piece here, this little bowl, these beads, and this jug are all from house sprucing, as well as these great feathers. And then this is an antique vase that uh, Susie found at Round Top, I believe. So these like, little ottomans are one of my new favorites. This We got these from Heather at House Sprucing, but I love the shape of them. I like that you can kind of see through them when you're walking in the house, but they have a really fun shape and they're still durable and wearable for my kids and family to you know, interact with. Children, dogs, all the things. Gotta have stuff that lasts. Oh, one thing I do like, somebody suggested like putting something else in here that would not block the view, but I personally always, I kind of like that it blocks the view a little tiny bit because this feeds right into my family room and sometimes I don't want everyone to just instantly see the mess. So family room, um, most of the pieces in here, I'll show you which ones are from our house. If you guys don't already know this, our house does free design work. So you can just take your, they'll come to your house, mock something up for you. They'll use their pieces obviously and show you this great design. And I loved what they had kind of done with it. Okay, rug <clears throat> I found online. Again, we have dogs and lots of kids. So 
This rug is super durable, which I required, and I don't like spending a ton of money on my rugs because I just don't feel like they last forever. So this rug was very affordable. Um, the couch, this maybe, this one was actually one of the like more expensive items, but it's like, it's called, hmm, what do they call it? Like something like, is it not Teflon? I don't know, there's some fabric. Kryptonite, Krypton, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Mindy's just making up fabric names. Don't don't Google those things. I don't know what'll pop up. Crazy. It reminds me of Superman, so it must be like Kryptonite or something. Anyway, it's very durable and it's got like a lifetime warranty on it. So for me, with like pet paws and shoes or whatever, I was excited about it. But each of these sections also leans out and the headrests come up, which I love. And also big for me was that it's not pillows on the backs of the couches. Cause our dogs always climb on them and then the pillows are all scrunched and squished and flat. So I loved that this, like the back was actually part of the couch. Love this. So far I really do love, love, love this couch. Coffee tables are from House Sprucing. Um, I, again, I'll put links to anything I can find. But they're a little spottier and I also like that they didn't feel too fancy because I, I want this space to feel very warm and comfortable and inviting and somewhere where people can put their feet on the table and I'm not gonna panic. This little uh, chain link <clears throat> wicker set was from House Sprucing, the candles and bases are from House Sprucing. Uh, the bowl, I believe, is Pottery Barn. So I will look those up and link it for you. I also think that pot and the greens were Pottery Barn as well. Chairs, I love these um, because they swivel and so you can watch TV from them like this or my personal favorite is always chilling like this with a book when I'm cold because it's right by the fireplace and it's nice and toasty and warm. Or you can turn it this way. So I just think it was really effective to have them swivel. I also love the leather because it's very pet friendly. It lasts a long time, wears well. Those were our house. This cute little side table um, was from House Brucing. Pillows, they're kind of a mix and that. Between House Sprucing and Greystone Salvage. Um, house Sprucing, I feel like Greystone Salvage finds kind of these one of a kind pillows and House Sprucing's really great at giving like your foundational pillows. So it's like a really fun mix. I don't know where I got this. I think it was World Market, but I'll look it up and find it for you. Um, and this table I had from before the flood. So this one's been here a hot minute. BF, before, before the flood. The flood. What you got um, hiding in here? Okay, our hot coasters. This is this is. Not but that, pretty, you, that's guys. a tip. It's a tip. This look, is look you would have no idea stuff. that's in there from oh, the outside. The blinds. But this is the blind it's like remote. hide all your stuff right the coasters. there. Coasters. Look at what this remote does. Ooh ooh ooh. This is sets the mood. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. See these? These are in the evening. Uh huh. We flip these on and it's all cozy and fun, like little bistro lights inside. Mm -hmm. We put these up for uh, Brooklyn's. Bridal shower, remember last year? Mm -hmm. And then we just were like, we don't really want to take them down. I love them, not gonna lie to you. So, there you go. Mm. I got these coasters for Christmas from one of my coworkers. I love them so much. They're all our puppies. <laughs> puppies. So um, these, before the flood, we had like giant cabinets here. After the flood, we wanted to change it up, so we got these really fun sideboards. I love the texture detail on the doors. And then these massive mirrors. They're crazy heavy, so we have them secured to the wall at the top so that they won't tip or anything up. I think it really turned out beautifully with the reflections bouncing back to the kitchen. These were both from our house, those two pieces. The decor on the top, I'm pretty sure this is Pottery Barn, some greens Susie found for me, Pottery Barn. And I can't remember where I got these, but I'll find out and link them. The fireplace, this is an old um, antique box that Susie found from the local antique store, some locks in it. We got the frame TV, which I also love, love, love. If you need a TV, highly recommend the Samsung frame because you can buy these frames that just literally takes two seconds to snap them on. And then we downloaded a piece of artwork that matched the family room. And I just feel like the whole thing then blends and doesn't look like a TV which is awesome. On this side, again, same thing, kind of mirrored it. Again, the same pot and greens. We did this really fun wooden, um, just kind of more, like a more of an art piece. Jeez. Like a piece of- An art, art. 
collect her now. Wooden, no. He's like this just fun little wooden thing. Sculpture. Sculpture. <laughs> sure. Let's go with sculpture. That's the word you couldn't find. <laughs> this bowl and these cute little glass jars. These and are again, fun. I think what's fun here is just the variance in texture. Like you have lots of different, you know, you have some, I don't know. It just, I like the, I like the changes in texture. I think it just makes it feel softer and a little warmer. So pretty. Okay. Over here hiding on this side is our dog. It's an old antique carpenter's tray, but we use it as our dog toy center and literally our dogs know to come get their toys over here and drag them all over the house. This is an old, um, some kind of antique, probably like feed. Like they used to probably have like feed in it for like horses or cattle or grains, but we use it as a blanket bin. So we just, you know, hide all of our blankets in here when you need one and you want to get cozy, that's where you find them. And then on this side of the room, um, Daxton's little workstation. We don't like our kids to have access to computers in their bedrooms or away from the family. So this is just a pottery barn table and chair that kind of matches. Don't look too close at all fingerprints, guys. Uh, we have some books and just a little pot and plant. And these are really fun. These are new. So this is a 1916 um, sheet from a newspaper and a 1919 from the New York Times. And what I love about it is that you can see how much the apartments on Madison Avenue were renting or selling for, which it's really fun to look at. And on this paper, 11 rooms? Yeah, I know. For 5200, you can't, you can't even get a single room for 5200, it feels like now but in New like, York. Look at these, these are like cool summer frocks for Mrs. $15 for the full frock. This one, look at $6.95 for a full junior frock. <laughs> but the wording was funny. Check this one out. Uh, for comfort on a hot summer day, what is better than a cap? There are, they are as light and cool as a snowflake and by far the best value in New York today. Woohoo! I know. So even just looking at some of the wording is really Those funny. are real, like old school. These are real. They've obviously been framed. By, I have, so fun. Or Susie had them framed in the Hobby Lobby, so. So fun. Very cool. On this side of the couch, we got this big old long table behind the couch. It's kind of a more organic type of wood look to it. I found these, they call them rainbow ottomans because they're shaped kind of like rainbows, but they're that um, boucle almost, or almost like a, they're not really a Sherpa. They're kind of boucle like, is trending this year in design. Boucle fabric. And they obviously just sit here. People can sit here if they want and do whatever, work. That's where Ryan likes to sit to work. Yeah. <laughs> this fun old suitcase. Um, this really cool old dictionary. My kids were literally like, Is this for is real? This? Yes, it's for real. This is real? Yes, it's I for real. I always thought it was just like one of those ones that, whoa, no, that was so empty real. inside. No. Wait, that is so cool. So my kids are, look at the cars in here. Look that is so are. cool. I know, it's very cool. You can see it's super old, which I love. 1950. Yeah, that's really cool. Anyway, my kids literally like, what's that? I don't think it's I knew that was real. And then this cute little olive tree that um, Susie helped us plant into a prettier pot and make it look really nice. So that's it. And I feel like the two blend, you guys have seen the kitchen video before. If you haven't seen the kitchen tour video, I will link it right here on the screen somewhere. Quick sneak peek. Woo! Sneak peek. Go watch the video for the whole thing. But I do feel like they blend really beautifully, like the concrete -y look with the stone and the woods and it just kind of all really blends nicely. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know, I will put links in the description um, box below as well. If you guys have questions, put them in the comments and we will see you guys next time. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do it by clicking right here. You can check out our other videos, including the kitchen tour by clicking over here and we'll see you guys next week. Bye y'all.